What are you, yeah, how, long, how long have you been doing this, Tim? Uh, You're on radio now. Let's get this right. Okay? So anyway, um, but like I said, Chance Adams is, is a guy who, who has had nothing but success on a minor league level, like elite success. Right, right. All right? He was a minor league pitcher of the year um, last season in all of the minor leagues, and this year had pretty much just as good a season. So he's a guy who's ready. Um, and then you're talking about the top the top few prospects that the Yankees have. Um, Estevan Florial, outfielder, stud in waiting. Uh, is he coming up next year? That's all I want. No, then, then let's not talk about it. Ugh. Let's not. If they're not coming up next year, it's too far away, and save it for your fantasy. Stuff. But all right. But one more thing. I'll, my I'll my, my to question you. for you, Timothy. Go ahead. Give me a question. We got to go to a break. Joe Girardi's contract is up. Will the Yankees sign him or is he absolutely? Leaving? The only way Joe Girardi doesn't come back is if Joe Girardi and his family decide that they want him to take a break. That's the only way. I I can almost guarantee you that within a week, or actually I, I can't even say within a week because the World Series is still be going on and baseball doesn't like to have other announcements yeah. going on. Like that's why the Mets made their announcement yesterday with with Callaway is because it's it's there's no World Series right now. Right. So. It wouldn't surprise me if right after the World Series, the Yankees say we've reached a three-year agree- agreement with Joe Girardi and Brian Cashman because Cashman's contract is up too. They're not, they're not going to let those guys get to the point where they're going to start negotiating with other teams. But Girardi has said that he needs to sit down, talk to his family, and as long as they're cool with him managing, then I have no doubt that he'll be back. I, I, I know that he enjoys it. And what manager wouldn't want to be associated with this team? With with so much future and so much promise, and oh, of and course, of course. I, I mean, you can't. If you're a manager, you can't ask for a better situation to be in right now than the New York Yankees. I agree. I feel with, with all of this young talent, plus plus the ability to spend as much as they want. You know, not well, not as much as they want to spend. Not like the Dodgers, but pretty close. We're going to take a break right now. You're listening to from the press box right here on ninety point three. WHPC. If you have a comment or question, give us a call, 516-572-7440. Okay. Yo. Tell your friends about the NASA Morning Madhouse. Hear what you're missing. Check it out. Check it out. We found something out yeah. I'm shocked about. Brandon, you get pedicure? Yes, of course. My feet are always getting wet and dried up in the socks and stuff like that. First of all, I just want to put this in perspective. I cut my toenails once a year. <laughs> I've been wanting to get a manicure, but like, I would feel weird to just go by myself. So maybe we can try it out. We, yeah, we can you guys go, go together. together. <laughs> That's a good deal. Not a shot. Really? You wouldn't go? No, I w- Mike, w- I'll take you up on that. <laughs> there you oh, go. There right, we two go. Guys. No more than that. <laughs> <laughs> no more than that. No. Okay. If I were to do that, I'd want it to be a Before big group of guys. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's like right. all march in there. Just yeah, like it's we're all here marching for the in there. Like, be like, five, four, <laughs> bum. I'm here to get my nails done. <laughs> yeah, testosterone. Nassau Morning Madhouse. Weekday mornings from 7 to 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the voice of Nassau Community College. 90.3 WHPC. Success. Noun. The fact of getting or receiving wealth, respect, or fame. Succeed, verb, to do what you are trying to do. Success story, noun, a successful person or thing, such as someone or something that has achieved a goal. Hi, I'm Bill Horan, the host of The Secrets of Success, and I invite you to do more than just read a dictionary to learn about success. If you want to achieve your goals in life, listen to the tips, secrets, strategies, and habits of some of the world's most successful people and hear about the obstacles they had to overcome to attain their dreams. Start your own journey to success. Tune in to The Secrets of Success Wednesday afternoons at 4 and Sunday mornings at 7.30 on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Hey, sports fans, are you looking for grand slams? Well, we got them. Penalty shots? Oh, yeah. Touchdowns? Tons of them. Buzzer beaters? All you could ever want. Hey, through the good times and the bad times, it's all sports all the time. Hi, this is Jacob Volk. Are you a diehard sports fan like me? Then tune in to Beyond the Game every Friday afternoon at 3, also available as a podcast on iTunes. I'm joined by Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino, and Eric Fischetti to break down the latest and greatest in sports. It's all on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome back to From the Press Box, 516-572-7440. That's the number to call. Thunder! Just have to mention this, brother, but... 
We have Go a great show here at WHPC called The Sly Stone Show. Every Friday at 11 p.m., explore the, fu- uh, the music of funk icon Sly Stone as host DJ Solero spins Sly's musical contributions as well as showcasing his influence on contemporary music through artists and groups who continue to cover his songs and sample his music. That's the Sly Stone Show every Friday at 11 p.m. right here on WHPC. With DJ Solero. He's my man. You know, you know uh, uh, Sly Stone was a disc jockey in San Francisco before. Really? Yeah, before he Good became a music star. Um, okay, so we the, talk- dream, the dream is possible is what you're saying. Yes, the dream is possible. Uh, we <laughs> talked about the Yankees. Uh, we should say just a couple of things. Uh, uh, the Dodgers and the Astros game one is on Tuesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. And we should say the Hell game. Hell of a matchup, too. Finally, Ky- the Keichel games. Keichel and Kershaw. Finally, the games are going to be on Fox <laughs> or Network because Channel I, five. literally every game for um, the playoffs of Major League Baseball was on a cable channel, either TBS or MLB Network Fox Sports or one. Fox Sports 1. Now, in the old days, Fox Sports <laughs> 1 would have had been Fox, uh, but they tra- I, th- I believe they transferred their games over. I'm not sure of that, but um, it's a Don't Fox know. thing. But I do know that it was a tougher find. to you know. One of the things about having the networks cover your games is they promote it really well. Yes. You know, you, 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 you're watching uh, Dr. Phil on Channel 2, and they'll say, you know, tonight on CBS is the, uh, is the Thursday night football game. They do, like, 15 promos for it. You know, on these cable channels, they don't do that. God forbid they actually play a promo. You know, I don't think CBS does the Thursday night games, though. No, do they, they do. Do they? The NFL Network slash CBS games. They pay yeah. a lot of money for that. Right. I'll take your word for it, then. So, yes, Clayton Kershaw is going up against Gal- uh, Dallas Kirchhoff. Keichel. Keichel, I'm sorry. Keichel, brother. And, K uh, versus K, and there yeah. will be a lot of Ks. Yeah, so that's going to be a fun game. Oh yeah. Um, uh, <coughs> quickly, let's we'll see if, we'll see if uh, you know what's interesting to me and what yeah. I'm what I'm wondering. Kershaw has a history of not being very effective in, in the postseason. Uh, okay. That's that's his history. Despite despite being pretty much unquestionably the best starter in baseball, his postseason record is at best mediocre. So I'm curious to see how how it goes tomorrow night for him, and, and to see, um, you know, can he get the Dodgers off to the one nothing lead in in the series? Well, he's, gonna, he's gonna, they're going to need that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's uh, talk about the Mets. Uh, who is Mickey Calloway? Uh, he is the former, now soon to be former, Cleveland Indians <laughs> pitching coach, who is now the new manager. That's what he said. We were we were listening. We'll get, let's give the, let's give the listeners a little background. All right. We were in the car last night, driving back from Baltimore. Holy crap. A lot of traffic. Up. Oh, a lot of traffic. On when we had, for those who don't know, pretty brutal. I, I wish Big Ed was here. because it took six hours. Big Ed, I hope you're listening because this is a story Big Ed identifies with. He drove from Florida once, from Florida to New Jersey area in 20 hours. Yes. And it took him three hours to get from the George which, Washington which, Bridge. That's 20 to hours. Is what, like, what, it's like 1,500 miles or something. Well, with Big Ed, it's, you know, he's, he's like flying a jet. Well, it's still 1,500 miles. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, no matter how fast or slow you go, it's 1,500 miles. So, but then it took him three hours to drive for the last, what, like 20 miles. Yeah, it was just horrible. <laughs> I was just, we, we were literally waiting. And then there was, you know, we were uh, listening to the traffic nightmare. reports. And none of them had the fact that there was a downed car on the upper level of George Washington Bridge. Yeah, thanks, traffic and, and, reporters. Oh, my God. Hell of a job. Oh, it was horrible. Anyway. Um, uh, but we were but, listening to the radio yes, as yes. we're going. And all of a sudden, on on the radio station, um, it says, oh, and the Mets have a new manager. And I was like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, whoa, who's the manager? And they finally get to it because it took forever. And Mickey Calloway. And I said to I said to my brother, I'm like, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't either. And I I, I, I was flabbergasted because there's not a whole lot of guys in baseball that I don't know who they are. And you know, like even I, I might not know exactly who's a pitching coach or who's a batting coach, but I'll know their names. And Mickey Callaway came up, and I, and I was I have no clue who this guy is. Well, uh, <laughs> Christy Acker wrote a very cool article about him today. Uh, she seems to like him. He, uh, yeah, everything I found out last night, I did research last night. I was looking into this guy to find out who he is, what he's about, and, and why the Mets would have hired him. And every sign is good. And and I'll agree to a certain extent with um, with Mike Vaccaro in the post. 
You know, this is definitely a, it's a bold move for the Mets. Very bold move because, uh, as and Chrissy also mentioned, probably the same thing. He's not part of uh, Mickey Calloway is not part of the Sandy Olson circle, right? The the, the crew and and right. whatever. And so and, and and that makes it that and that, again that makes it a bold move because oh. Sandy is 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 a guy who he he's in, he likes his his comfort level and and he's I I thought we were going to see a guy who he had some sort of history with. And for him to make this move, and especially with Callaway, because a lot of people regarded Callaway, like people in baseball knew that this guy was going to be a manager at some point right. in this offseason. Okay. He was going to get a job somewhere. Um, the Phillies were, were rumored to be interested in him. Um, you know, and, and there's a couple other teams that have openings or are, are going to have openings. But this is a guy, and I keep, I keep hearing Joe Madden's name mentioned with him, and it's like they say, well, he's a guy who could be like the next Joe Madden. Now, me personally, I thought Joe Madden k- killed the Cubs this year. I thought he did a terrible job. But that being said, Joe Madden's been one of the best managers in baseball for well, a he decade. Almost, he almost killed them last year too. Remember, well, he made some in, ba- in, in, in the postseason, yeah, he made a couple of really yeah. But, but balls. since they won, everyone forgets about it. But but Joe Madden is is definitely a players' manager. He, he's an upbeat guy. He's he's a little he's a little off the beaten path. Uh, a little bit of kind of a bohemian mentality, about... Joe Madden. Oh, I'm yeah, talking okay, about, okay. but for 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 Mickey Calloway to draw comparisons to a guy like that, I, that, there's nothing negative about that. This is that that to me says that this is a guy who a is ready for the job, and, and b is ready to be successful in the job. Now, the other reason it seems like it's a good hire is Mickey Calloway is the guy who basically built. The Indians pitching staff. Now, the Indians, much like the Mets, their team started with their pitching. Their rotation was outstanding. Right. And Callaway is the guy who got the credit for developing Corey Kluber, who is, to me, the ASI Young winner this year. Uh, Danny Salazar, a, an effective starter. Trevor Bauer, who, when he came over from the from the Diamondbacks in a trade a few years ago, w- was seen as a head case, and nobody knew if they were going to be able to, to tap into the talent. This guy was the number three pick overall a few years ago. But he's become an effective, quality starter. Um, so guys like that, I mean, the, 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 the Indians are similar to the Mets in that they have four outstanding starters. And that's everything else are in, on their team is built around those guys. Now, the problem is that the Mets don't have nearly the offense that the Indians no, do. No, they don't. And, and they're going, obviously, that's a, that's a situation they're going to have to address this offseason. But. Yeah, will they if, spend if, the money? If Mickey Calloway can, can help the Mets pitching staff like he helped the Indians pitching staff. And, and the issue that I have with that is Mickey Calloway can't keep pitchers healthy. That's something that has to work out, and that's something that has to, has to be dealt with with the training staff. But the Mets already have good pitchers. Like, Mickey Calloway isn't going to really improve Jacob DeGrom. All right? Jacob DeGrom is an all-star pitcher. He's not necessarily going to improve Noah Syndergaard. But if he can help them with, with mentality and perspective and, about, and improve their games to— What too, about Matt Harvey? Well, Matt it. Harvey needs improving. Steven Matz needs improving. Zach Wheeler needs improving. But mostly all three of those guys just need good health. They're all good pitchers. And Mickey Calloway, especially with those last three guys, will make them better. But to me, Syndergaard and DeGrom— and Callaway seems like a smart guy. He'll more than likely just leave them alone, maybe tweak, maybe little tiny little tweaks here and there. But like I said, they're both all-star caliber guys. But then why hire a pitching guy if your pitchers are already good? Because uh, you, need, you need to ensure that they, that they not only are good, but, but find little ways to get better. You know, I mean, the Mets were built on pitching last year, and like I said, they need to stay healthy. That's a good so, start. They, they kept, the, one thing about the Mets, they kept the training guy. What's his name? Is, uh, I don't even remember. I have we've, we've had him on. No, no, no. no. Uh, we've mentioned him before. By Mike name. Barwis. Okay. He's still involved with the team. He's the guy who thought that you know, well, bench pressing 500 pounds was a good thing. You know what? Who knows? Maybe, maybe now that Callaway is here, maybe they re- they revisit their training methods. I don't. I don't know how much sway a manager has in that regard, but I'm, I'm sure I'm he's going to have something I'm, to I'm say. I'm sorry, longtime head trainer Ray Ramirez Ramirez, Ramirez. was let go. Right but at the same time, I'm quoting Christy Ackert's uh, column today in the Daily News. But at the same time, controversial strength and conditioning advisor Mike Barwis was still involved. So anyway, but why right. would? But and one thing about the Mets, you know, they 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 get Mickey Callaway, you know. You know 
most people don't know who he is. Well, why wouldn't you go for a guy who knows things and is a known person like Dusty Baker, who is now available? Too old. Too old. Too old. He's sixty-eight. So, I, let's put it this way: Would would if if the Mets if the Mets were, I don't want to say guaranteed to win. Next- 